When you first sign into your Trip Creator account, the first thing you will see is the Trip Creator dashboard. Now in the dashboard, you have a library of all your itineraries that have been made to your account. Um, you also have a filtering system for the itineraries. And when we go to the upper right corner, we have our profile settings, uh, team member settings, billing and subscription options that you can manage. And then we have a pie chart overview of the statuses of our itineraries. So when we make an itinerary and we want to uh, maybe put the status of an itinerary as booked or in process, uh, we get we get then get the whole overview of. Now our customer management system is under the customer supplier option. Uh, the first thing you will see is all the companies that are in your customer section. If you want to create a new one, just press new company, and there you will fill out some basic information about the company, such as the name, what type of company it is. Uh, you can also add the company's legal ID and VAT ID. Then you're going to fill out the main address of the company. And then you can also add in the billing address as well, but you can toggle the option to keep the billing address the same as the main address. Now when you're satisfied with all the information you're given about the company, just press save and it will be added to your library. If you want to edit the options or information about the company, just press the red pencil button in the right corner. Now for suppliers, it's the same as the, the uh, uh, customer section. Uh, it's the same information you need to fill out. Then we have contacts. The contacts are the individuals that run through your account. Uh, these are probably individuals that are affiliated with some of the companies in your customer section. And if you want to create a new contact, just press the new contact button. And then you will fill out some basic information about the contact, such as the company they're affiliated with, if any, uh, the name, uh, some email, uh, phone numbers, uh, then fill out the address, probably the same address as the company. And then we have also integrated the option of having social links to the individual. We offer LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Skype, and so on and so forth. Our content management system is under the name Products. When you press Products, you will first be faced with a tab called My Products. And there you have all of the content that you have made to your account individually, and it will be saved to your library. You can filter out some of the content by searching for it by its destination, by its title, and even by its supplier and tags. You also have categories used to f uh, filter out the type of content that you're looking for. Then when you get to the All Products tab, there you have all of your products that you've created in your system and all the products that we, uh, or the content that we provide through our online inventory. So we have accommodations, points of interest, uh, transports and destinations that we offer that will be integrated to your content. Now the time saving feature that we just implemented to Tricorder is the modules feature. From, with the modules you can basically save a template or a day, a half a day itinerary or a few day itinerary and reuse it for later purposes or later itineraries. Uh, to the right here you can deselect and select the, the content in the module that you want to keep. and. Uh, if you want to, you can also do the show map feature, which shows you the, where the points of interest are in the module. If you want to create your own itinerary from scratch using Trip Creator, uh, just press the Create Itinerary button, and from there you will fill out the information about the itinerary, uh, give it a name, uh, the destination of the itinerary, duration of the itinerary, how many adults and children are part of the itinerary, uh, language and currency. Now you also have the option to uh, assign the itinerary to a customer who is in your customer management system and you can enable proposal mode which prevents your client from booking the itinerary. And when you're done filling out the information just press create. When you get to your itinerary planner you will have a box that allows you to choose which type of product you want to put into your itinerary. So if you go first to the All Products tab, like I said before, this is where you have all of your content that you've made through your account, and as well as all of the online content that we provide through Cryptgator. Um, we're first going to search for a, a, a content through its title, like I did here. Press the content that we like. Uh, here we can view some images of the content. We also have a description of the content, as well as an address above under its title. And when you're satisfied with the content, just press add to itinerary and it will be added to your planner. Now you can also add content to your itinerary just by pressing anywhere on the planner screen. Or you can go and press the red plus button in the upper left corner. When you get to your My Products tab uh, and you want to create your own item, just press the create item in the upper corner and you will see all of the subgenres at the top of the content that you can create. Um, 
So the first thing I would do is give my new content a title, such as I'm doing right here. A uh, brief description as well of the content. Like so. And then we can all then we're gonna assign our uh, a location for our content as well, seeing as how the content I'm making is in London. Uh, I would just search for London in the United Kingdom and it will automatically assign the location. Uh, for supplier, you can assign a supplier to your from your customer management system. And then you can also manage the starting date, starting time, and ending date, and ending time of the content. We do offer translations uh, for the content uh, with the languages that are listed here. Um, all you have to do is select the language you want, press Add, and then when you go to the upper right corner of the translation box, uh, use the auto translation from English, and it will uh, translate the, the content to the language that you just selected. For images and videos, you have three options for images. Uh, you can add images via Pixabay, which is integrated into our system, uh, which offers high quality free to use images just by searching for a keyword. All you have to do is select the ones you like. And then when you press add, they will be added to your content. Now you can also choose to add images by uploading them from your system or from a link. We also have uh, videos that you can add to your content. So all you would have to do is take a YouTube Vimeo or Vistia link and paste that into the link URL box here below and press add video. Now for price, we can we have different pricing options. You can add no price at all. You can have a set price for the content and you can also manage the currency and allow to book. And we also have offer a price per person. So if it's individually based price, uh, you can have that as well. Now for attachments, you can also add attachments that are uh, affiliated with the content that you're adding. Uh, and just read below, we have the file extensions that are allowed uh, listed below. Uh, you can also add notes for the content, uh, specific notes for your customers, uh, booking confirmation numbers, as well as vouchers. And that's the same uh, format as the uh, attachments. Now to easily filter out your content, you can also add tags as, uh, so it's easier to find later on. Uh, filtering out, you know, activities, destinations, uh, where it's taking place, so on and so forth, you decide completely. And then when you're done, just press save. And that content will be in your library as my products. And then when I press on the content, and I go to the right to press the add to itinerary, the, my product will be added to the itinerary. And I can use the drag and drop feature to move my content around whenever I like, if I want to change the date and time of the content. Now what I wanted to show you is the time-saving module feature. So when I go to modules and I search for a module that's based uh, near United Kingdom, like this one, and I see on the map it's actually in Scotland, Edinburgh, um, and I'm just going to show you, I'm going to add that module to the itinerary. And then all of the content that's in the module will be added to my itinerary instantly, will saving you a lot of time during the itinerary building process. Here you take a look at the map and you see how your travels look like. Uh, you can actually manage the route that you're taking during your travels just by clicking on the route itself and dragging it alongside nearby roads. If you want to maybe uh, view some other destinations along the way or drive by some capital cities. And if you don't even want to uh, keep the route that you just made, you can press it one more time and it will revert back to the original route. Another handy feature to keep in mind, you can remove days from your itinerary and add the day before or after that just by pressing the three dots next to the date and then choosing which option you go with. When we press preview, uh, here we get the customer's view of the itinerary. We start with an overview uh, with all of the content that's in the itinerary and some hero images from the content and the location of the itinerary. Then when we press itinerary, we get a more detailed description of the itinerary with all of the content, with its photos, uh, descriptions, addresses. Uh, we have the time and date. We have videos, like I am showing you right here, of the content. And this is the content that was in the module before. When you go to the map, you will, like before, see the routes that you're taking during your itinerary. You can see the whole itinerary. Uh, you can do a day-by-day -day tour to see how your routes are each and every day of your travels. 
um, and it's really easy to navigate. Now in the pricing section, you can show the pricing of the itinerary. You can show it as one or have it more itemized. Uh, in the about us section, you can have something about the travel professional, uh, something about the company that's providing the itinerary uh, and some additional information for your customers who are booking the itinerary. If you want to edit the content of your itinerary preview, just go to the upper corner and press the edit button. There you can, in the itinerary overview, add itinerary descriptions, add date descriptions. You can go to the pricing tab and edit that, as well as the about us section. There you can add your own content in as well. To share your itineraries, just go to the send button in the upper corner, and there you will get your default email template. All you would have to do is fill out the email address of the one who's receiving the itinerary invitation, and fill out the first name, last name, as well as subject. We already have a message template ready to be sent out for you, but you can customize that as well. Uh, in your settings. Also share your itinerary via URL, just copy the link and send it to who's receiving the itinerary. And you can also view uh, the sending activity of the emails and how many visitors you have on your itineraries.